So guys, we have a video here. Pretty much this girl on Tinder meets with like her perfect match ever. It was the dream match. He was handsome, he was kind, smart, and then she came to find out that <laughs> he needed her to pay for a $376 electric bill. Yes, yeah, so pretty much they went on this dream date, but before the dream date, they were talking for months. It was going really well. He seemed, uh, obviously, like I said, like a kind, caring soul, you know, and it was just a dream match. Then we came to find out that after pre pretty much the dude paid for the expensive seafood date, they went in an ex pretty much to an expensive restaurant. He paid for the date, and then, like, I guess a couple days later, he pretty much thought that just because that he paid for the seafood date, that, uh... She should cover his $376 electric bill. <laughs> now, I'm going to get into kind of more quotes of kind of her response to this. And this is just craziness. And there's also screenshots to the text messages, which is awesome. So please stay tuned for that. Let's get right into it. So Tinder matched me with my dream date, then asked me to pay his $376 electric bill. As soon as I seen that headline, I was like, holy shit, I got to make a video on this. This is great. Um, so a woman... Uh, who felt an electric connection with the Tinder match and was turned off with her potential Mr. Right randomly asking her nearly $400 pretty much to pay his energy bill. Um, so the girl pretty much, um, she's 29, said that she's seen a charming man named Josh for several months for uh, that she suggested the two of them go out to a nice dinner. So Josh, you were so charming. And then you asked this random girl to pay for your $400 electric bill. <laughs> like, hey, you know what? Honesty goes a long way. I don't care what anyone says about this guy. The fact that he was honest and just at least tried, you got to give him credit. <laughs> I don't do this though, please. Do not go on a date with a girl and then ask her to pay one of your utility bills. Unless if you guys have been dating for a few years, it's, it is what it is, and you guys are living with each other. Completely different story. But if you're just not even living with each other, you're not even dating, and you just ask a girl to pay your utility bill, listen, brother, I appreciate the honesty. That means you're probably going to be honest about most things, but it's just ridiculous. <laughs> You just sound like that you're using this girl at this point. So, but I will, let's give a clap for, you know, I will give you an applause though for trying. <laughs> so, um, pretty much, let's, let's read some quotes here. Um, the girl's a nurse. So as we know that, that's her job title or occupation. Um, so she quotes, could have been $376 in order to get his lights turned back on. He wanted to know. So actually he quoted that. So he says, I figured it wouldn't be an issue since I paid for your seafood bill. He said jokingly. But brother, you probably ain't joking. You're probably being honest with you. So we'll get to the screenshot in a minute. Um, uh, she pretty much right away, um, I mean, she pretty much responded and said, hey, listen, this isn't going to work out once he typed that. <laughs> she pretty much blocked his number and said, don't ever text me again because I'm not paying your utility bill. But here is the screenshot we've all have been waiting for. He goes, hey. We have been talking for a while, and I was wondering if I could get my $376.54 to get my lights turned back on. Figured it wouldn't be an issue since I paid for your seafood. <laughs> that is awesome. Listen, I don't like how she posted this on social media. The, uh, like, I hope she didn't post his name. Cause, listen, I get it. It's funny, but... You probably shouldn't post somebody's business out there. Maybe, like, tell a friend about this story. You get a good laugh. But I wouldn't post this on social media. Just my opinion. But it is pretty funny. <laughs> um, here's another screenshot. And she responded with, LOL, really question mark. I'm not sure this is going to work out. Good luck. <laughs> Listen, like I said, you got to give them credit. Sadly, they didn't work out. She ended up blocking his number. And, yeah, she's moved on. Um, so she quotes, he was a very handsome, smart, kind, seemed very well put together, apparently not, which is okay. He had a similar sense of humor and we got along great. The chemistry was there. The chemistry was there until the electric bill came in. Listen, $376 electric bill. That's probably about my electric bill. Could have sent her like, she, like she could have sent him like 376 glow sticks or something. <laughs> Like something to keep them occupied, to keep them happy through, you know, devastating times or something like that. Then she quotes, I feel like we were even. I wasn't using him for money and expecting him to pay for anything. I enjoyed his company. It would pay for things too. Um, first of all, 
I would never spend a lot of money on su- seafood. I don't know how much money they spent, but it said expensive. Don't ever spend money on expensive seafood. It's not worth it. <laughs> um, uh, one last quote here for you guys. She said she doesn't consider herself a cold-hearted person and has no issue with people asking for help. She just doesn't want to feel like it's expected of her. I wish he would have approached it in a different way rather than it being something he expected me to do, she explained. Wow. <laughs> nice try, Josh. <laughs> so apparently he worked as a welder. Um, he, she assumed his finances were okay. Listen, I don't care what anyone does. Don't ever expect someone's finances to be okay. Uh, it, it's, no money could replace what could be going on in someone's life. You kind of get what I'm saying. Like shit happens in life. I, I know people who make good money and they still struggle. Sometimes they make stupid financial decisions that haunts them. So never assume somebody makes good money. That's um, not a good uh, opinion on her part. But hey, nice try, Josh. So I don't like how... Oh, it, by the way, we got it right here. Um, it's a $200 seafood bill. Why would you spend $200 on a seafood bill and first of all josh my guy don't go on an expensive date if you got to pay your electric bill brother please especially with a girl you don't really know i don't care a couple months is only a couple months that uh 200 bucks could have went towards that 376 dollar electric bill come on men men we got to be stop being stupid and listen we got to stop trying to impress women if we can't go out to eat we ain't going out to eat it's as simple as that we're gonna have ramen noodles some raviolis and we're gonna chill and watch a movie <laughs> <laughs> no more going out to eat. So, Josh, I hope you learned your lesson. And, uh, guys, I'll leave that video there. Um, short video tonight. Um, let me know how you guys feel about this. I thought this video was definitely um, interesting to make. Poor Josh, my guy. But like I said, she could have sent him, like, glow sticks or, um, I don't know, some Legos to play with. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll end the video there, guys. Hope Josh learned his lesson. $200 on seafood. Don't ever spend $200 on seafood. Please. Please. I feel for Josh, though. He was honest. I give him that. Guys, until next time, I will check you guys all later until we meet again. Peace.